What's up YouTube? Uh, here we go again. Um, back with the Jag. Let's uh, let's take a bit of a rewind and see how we got to this point. Something amazing happened this week. The previous owner found my videos on YouTube and is now a subscriber. He got in touch with me and sent me some stuff. This arrived in the post. He's seen the videos on YouTube um, and he's going to be watching his old car uh, get rebuilt and um, he's sent me uh, this uh, bag of goodies which consists of this lovely packaged uh, spare key yeah and uh, the car people shopping token thing and Ton. Hold on, the bag sealed itself up again. And a ton of receipts and the service history book. Um, in it, it is stamped up to one, two, uh, three, four, five, six stamps. Yeah, up to 75,000 and a pile of other uh, receipts for servicing there which total up to the last latest service that it had which was in April. So massive shout out to you. Uh, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it and what a sound guy. Um, absolute legend he's just a genuinely sound nice guy and i couldn't thank him enough so thank you mate and you never know maybe i'll come and see you when the car's done i really really appreciate it so if you're watching thank you very much mate um it means the world um and it will really help when it comes to like selling this car on knowing exactly like the history of the car it was another car that hit him on his side of the road. He was actually stationary, stopped with his hand on the horn at the time. <laughs> uh, and she still managed to hit him at about five miles an hour. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's good to know. It hasn't been in a ditch or hit a tree or anything like that, which is fantastic. Also told me that the uh, insurance quote for repairing the car was um, 12,500 pounds which explains why they wrote it off. So I'm guessing that's new parts, uh, bonnet, wing, bumper, crash bar, um, slam panel, uh, all, and the headlight, all from Jaguar, brand new, plus body shop labor, plus paint, etc. cetera, um, which is why cars get written off, and it's absolutely ridiculous, because it doesn't cost 12,500 pounds <laughs> to repair. Uh We'll say I'm going to try and do it for one thousand pounds. I'll probably have to spend a little bit more than that, to be honest. Um, but um, I'll, I'll try and get close. First things first, undo the bolt so I can see. So one, two. Three. Uh, it would be four, but that one's mangled. Inner arch lining. So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to try and get away with just me removing those three and just pull it out of the way. quite rusty enough to not work. Yes! Alright. Let's have a nookie nookie. Ah. 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 Right, so there's some broken bits of plastic in there. I think I need to turn this wheel a bit more. So I found a 10mm 
up there that I'm going to undo. Bingo. Now I probably didn't need to take that 10 mil off, but there is one like here pointing upwards. So I'm just trying to do that. Yup, another one of those. Oh, I found this as well. A bolt's much easier to get to on this side because it's not bent. Right, so that first bolt I took out. Excuse the impact gun in the background. Um, didn't need to come out, so I'm going to put that back in in a second. Provided that bracket's not damaged. Right. Oh, there we go. And then pop them off there. Right. Uh, oh, wait. What? Oh, there's a tab on the front right. This bracket has to come off with this, it turns out. So, I'm guessing there's a bolt on the bottom somewhere. Yeah. Tiny little talkies! And the other side. This bit came out. And then there's uh, four or five more of those to undo underneath. So I change of plan. I'm leaving those ones on. And I'm going to undo this, which is an 8mm. Yeah. And there's one on the other side, and maybe one in the middle. And then this one on this side. And I reckon that's it, just those two. Oh, great. <laughs> no. Got it. Whoop, whoop. More surprises. <laughs> Ta -da! While I'm here, might as well unplug this big electrical connector. Well, that's all the bolts. Cool, right, so uh, there is the screen wash for the Hoosier Flip. Um, headlamp jets, uh, it goes into a T-piece there, so I'm just gonna pull that out. If I can, there we go, oh great, now it's leaking screen wash everywhere. Ah, the rules of physics and siphoning, I need to keep that up there. Uh, stick it out there for now, right. Electrical connectors. Not sure what that's for or what it is. Uh, there's one on the other side as well. So I need to unplug them. I'm actually going to leave them plugged in. They just pull off the uh, bumper they're on with a really cool kind of like clip. Um, that's quite a lot of bolts <laughs> and bits of broken plastic. There we have it. Oh, you know, bumper, right? Pop that over here. So let's have a look at the damage. Um, this is mildly bent, uh, but that's what it's designed to do. Um, the chassis rail is absolutely fine. No creases, no folds, no nothing. If we have a look on this side, this is where the headlight is supposed to bolt onto. There and there, and there's one inside the wheel arch. Uh, the other side are there, it's kind of like up there a little bit. If we have a look at this one, um, it used to be attached there and it used to be attached there. I think it's still attached here. Uh, can I show you? It's kind of behind there. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there. Oh, come on, focus. There. And it's still attached. So let's crack on with removing the headlight. So I can't actually undo the electric plug for the headlight um, because it's been pushed in and it's pressing against 
this edge here. So I'm going to have to try and pry it out before I can unplug it. I've undone all the bolts, so here we go. There we go, movement. Ah. Oh god. At least at least now I can get to the plug. So let's uh let's get that bad boy off. As you can see the headlight has taken a beating. Now this headlight did work, so it's definitely worth saving these bulbs because they're very expensive. I'm amazed that this plastic bracket is still intact, which uh, reinforces the headlight position. Uh, obviously we know about this little crease on the wing, but uh, we, can, we can bend that back without having to replace the wing, no problem. This isn't a scuff, this is just water. Um, it's flat but it's cracked the paint so it's gonna need a, a touch up on there. Now I'm gonna get the other headlight out um, to compare the two sides, make sure there is no bends. I'm gonna put this guy safely on the back seat because he is not broken. Well, there's a bit of clip damage there for some reason, um, but um, that won't affect the positioning of the light, so happy days. So this bit of plastic trim, uh, which the support bars go through, these support bars are not bent, they're actually great, but the bit of plastic it goes through uh, is mullered, so I'm gonna see if we can get another one of those. Um, part number is quite clearly visible. Hmm. The sun is kind of over there, but this is kind of sketchy. So from here, I can see that that is in exactly the same position as that, which is fantastic. So annoyingly, because of the damage to the headlight bracket here, I am gonna have to replace this slam panel, but I brought one with me and a crash bar, which I haven't opened yet. I should probably open this to make sure it's the same. Hmm, looks the same. Yeah, that's the same. Oh no, oh wait. <coughs> yeah. And that is what that is supposed to look like. Not bent. Next up, let's get this crash bar off. Um, I'm gonna unclip all this cabling and wires um, and then undo the bolts that are holding it on. It's basically four bolts on both sides, on each side, four bolts on each side, three 10 mil, and one 13 mil. The 13 mil is holding in this support brace. Ugh, there we go. Not so pretty now, are you? Next off, this piece of plastic. Come off. There we go. Right. So that bit's off. Put that in the pile. Cool. How are we looking? Yeah. Might give that a wash before we put it back together. It's like a beehive. Let's uh, unclip the horns. There we go. Uh, that can come off of there. Uh, that looks like. It'll come off of there with a bit of um, prying. Yep. All right, let's get this earth strap off.
Now at this point, I don't know how I'm gonna get to the other side of that bolt because there appears to be a radiator in the way. Let's take this horn off. I should probably mark those left and right. Nah, they're identical. So this bit here is not part of the slam panel, it's part of uh, the car. However, it's not structural, it's literally a mounting bracket for the slam panel, which also isn't structural, so... Oh. Keep finding little bits of plastic everywhere. This is the structural bit, and it is straight. And there's no problem with it. No, oh, yeah, it's got a bit of surface rust on it, but hey, it's a 10 year old car. Okay, I've hit a massive problem. The, the nut or bolt, the bolt, the head of the bolt is actually between this piece of plastic and the metal. Um, and so as a result, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to take the radiator pack out, which I really, really didn't wanna do. And sadly, I don't have time for today. Unfortunately, I've run out of time and I've run out of good weather. Um, so I'm gonna to have to call it a day for today, but we got somewhere, we got it stripped and we know the extent of the damage is not that bad, just awkward to replace the parts. And one last thing, um, there's some of you that will be really pleased to know I bought something else for the next video. It is a tripod with a camera phone attachment, which is what I record these videos on. Um, and the Eagle Eye viewers might have noticed the um, picture quality um, is a li little bit better on today's video because I changed the settings, changed the um, aspect ratio, and as a result, I was able to um, get it in uh, higher quality, so yeah. So, no more one-handed recording. Um, wow, well, there'll be a little bit of it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll, well, see you next time. Cheers.